Welcome to Rolling FNAF 20, and this is One Way Heroics. This is a new game, trying some new recording software, see if it's going to work out. Uh, I played one playthrough of this game and a playthrough for... That playthrough lasted a few minutes because I died pretty quick. It's a pretty ruthless game. But uh, I just did that to kind of get my bearings. Play about 10 minutes, and you can actually watch the entire playthrough. This is a really nifty thing I love in this. You can see me kill the bear and level up, and I find the town where I learn who everybody is, tutorialize, I'm a chef, I'm a sailor, I sell weapons, and I kill a bunch of birds, and I use some items to heal as I kill more birds, and I find some zombies in a cave or some castle or whatever it was, I killed them, it's cool. Then there were more birds. And then I found some dogs, and I was like, I can farm them for experience, and I got snuck up on by a harpy and murdered me. So that's how that playthrough went, but you don't have to uh, watch all of that one. You get to go through this as we uh, continue the adventure of Darwin, who is the sword master I created. But we're going to change up the perks a little bit, because I did not realize initially that there was a page 2. So I had picked Vitality to increase my health, and why not just get a straight health increase, if that is what I want. I'm going to start the adventure, and I could uh, go back to that world that we just saw, but why would I do that? We're going to we're gonna create a random world. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing in this game, so we're going to go walk in the park for now. And uh, maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll learn. Oh. Man, there's a lot of text there. Too much to read. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, somehow the body has been... So somehow my body, which should have been defeated by Harpy, has returned to me in one piece. Actually, maybe it isn't in one piece. My memories of my old body are already fading. And that's all I have to say about that. Some bad stuff has happened. Here's a potted plant. It's going to give you some health every couple of hours. Leave this castle because darkness is encroaching. and You must stop it before it overtakes everything. So we are going to make our journey to the right, and you can see the tiny little mini-map there. We don't know too much about what's where, so we gotta explore a little bit. This lava seems no good. Oh! We got a dude down here. Oh, combo hit, and that's why I like the Sword Master, because of the two times combo hit rating. Get extra attacks. Fairy Iris, if you need to talk with me, you can use the speak with Fairy Iris. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Iris. I'm an artificial fairy created by King Victor. There aren't, uh, there aren't bound to be many fairies around here, so you can just call me Fairy if you want. Oh, and I'm the one in charge of helping you on this journey. Can I help you with anything? What is this clock in the upper right screen? The clock on the right? That's the worm clock. The clock is basically a timer for when the demon lord will show up. It's really useful since you can prepare for his arrival if you keep an eye on the timer. When the white hand hits the 12 o'clock position, the demon lord will appear. It's a good idea to prepare escape items equipment before he shows up. I didn't know he could show up uh, on that timer thing. That's news to me. It's possible to enter bodies of water and mountains, but monsters get extra turns there. This is kind of an action RPG, sort of. It, it, it works in a turn-based. If we stay here, time will not move. Time will wait for us. We can ponder look at our abilities, our items. I'm actually gonna just uh, harvest that because uh, I just get to set it right there and it'll continue growing and grow back in 12 hours. So let's start that process. Uh, I don't know too much about this line of sight thing. Uh, some dude threw a rock at me in the other playthroughs. So I'm guessing that that has to do with like range weaponry of some sort. Let's go up in these mountains. No, I won't, because that uses a lot of stamina needlessly. Alright, we found something down here. Let's check out what this thing is. Uh, looks like there's plenty of enemies in here. Oh! We're gonna bust up in here and take out all their shit. Strength increased. Wow. Two levels from killing that one dude. That's pretty rough. What? I find miscellaneous clothes. Whatever shall I do with them? What? No, I don't want something now. Alright, well... Miscellaneous clothes. What? Let's clip them. Do I learn anything about them immediately? No, gotta wear them a bit. Alright. 
Alright, so a scroll of flame, what does that do? A scroll which adds the flame effect to the equipped weapon. The flame effect has a chance to light enemies on fire, dealing damage over time, so that's probably a buff rather than a permanent increase, I think. I don't know. Alright, well I'm gonna go over here, there's a door that we can bust out of, but we're gonna fight Ogies. Oh, we're gonna drink this uh, vial of healing to not die. This dude does so much damage. Oh, uh, I thought going berserk might save us, but uh, that Minotaur just unleashes a normal attack. You try to defend as you normally would, but multiple wounds have taken their toll and your dodges are slow and sloppy. The enemy's attack zooms in on your body and connects, sending you to the ground. You aren't getting up from that one as your consciousness starts to flee. You look on one last time as wanted Minotaur looks down at you with intense hunger. Your journey is now at an end. You met your demise pretty quickly this time, but don't worry, it happens to everyone. Here's the advice. You didn't use your awakening ability, which pauses time and allows you to move around and stuff. Uh... This is a roguelite. There's some elements that go on. Closed question mark question mark was revealed to be a spirit robe. I only got a heroics level 5.4 this time. It's a little sad. But we got five more hero points, uh, which we can uh, replay that uh, use hero points. Spend your hero points to expand upon your next playthrough. You currently have 13 hero points. Expand your dimension of slots. Okay, uh, unlock a new perk. Swing coach. Master of Alright, so this is where uh, the actual rogue light elements of this appear where I can learn perks to give the dudes at the beginning of the character creation that carry over and make them better I can unlock new classes which seems to probably be the thing that I'd want to focus on as new classes so let's just uh, talk to the advice corner about some stuff let's, I don't know let's buy my own sign. anything cool happens I can just show you guys in one of these Excellent instant replay. Uh, looks like it just saves the, the most recent one now. All right, let's go back in. Uh, we'll just keep going with this guy. Should we create a random world? Should we just play that same one again? Let's, let's try playing the same one again. Let's. Uh, we know better about the Minotaur room. One day, being known as the Demon Lord, summoned a terrible darkness. This darkness consumed the world at an alarming pace before finally reaching your part of the world. You are a hero in the dire times, aspiring to defeat the Demon Lord and bring an end to the darkness. The light you bring to this world is tiny, nothing more than a firefly in a dark night sky. However, in a world full of despair, that tiny light is just bright enough to bring hope to this world. Hey, I got killed by a Minotaur, but now I'm back and it's cool. Hey, here's this plant. We've done this. Hey, uh... Yeah, I forgot to do this last time, but this this lady's whole deal is she shows you on the map where a couple cool things are, a couple towns, so that you don't just happen to miss them, because uh, that could happen, because if that dark, encroaching darkness on the left touches us, we are goners. That it just gets us. What's this crystal over here? Quality whetstone. There's just stuff on the ground out here. An area map. What the? A mysterious map that reveals the local surroundings. Using it will reveal towns and dungeons on the minimap. Nifty. Okay. Alright, let's continue onward this way and try not to get murdered. Alright, I'd like to kill that guy, but he's too far past in the encroaching darkness. We cannot let the darkness catch us. Oh, crap. Forgot to harvest this thing. Well, there's a couple of hours of wasted growth. Oh, it's a weapon! It's a bow! What? Oh, what are you? Die! What did? What were you? You were a harpy. Die, you motherfucker. You killed me in a previous life. Whetstone, which applies the quality effect to a weapon, increases the stat slightly and also makes it more durable to use. Yes. 
Now I'm quality sure. So. Easy weapon to handle is coveted by many travels. Quality, higher materials, 1.1 attack power, and durability attrition, minus 20%. I bet I need arrows for that bow to do anything. Oh. <laughs> Speak of them. Alright. So now here's the question. This is how I am. That's how I shoot. There we go. Oh, jeez. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Alright, so... We're just gonna bow it up for a little bit, even though we're a sword master, because we are low level, and this... The world is scurry, and the whole world is, in, is covered in darkness now. I don't like any parts of it. We are running out of energy slowly. Slowly out of energy. But we just keep finding crap in the middle of the world. I've never found so much crap in the middle of the world. I mean, I guess this is only my third life, and I haven't even survived more than, like, a day. But I'm finding a lot of stuff. Whoa. All right, well, that's how it has to be. Can I pass, can I pass a turn? Can swing. It's a good pass a turn. Whoa. Ooh, yeah! Darwin reaches level 2 and vitality goes up. We get some money. Alright. Oh my. It's gonna take 5 turns. Alright, we're gonna swim out here because that looks. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to do it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh man, we used all our stamina trying to go for that chest in the water and we couldn't do it. It was all bad. Oh, it's all bad. Oh man. All right. Well, let's use this area map. And I'm not really seeing Jack on this little mini map as far as towns and whatnot go. Oh God. There's a bear. Oh. There's a bear. Hello, beer. Get shot, beer. Leave me alone, beer. Not cool, bear. Oh, bear. Oh, bear is worth so much experience. Oh, animal meat. What does animal meat do for me? Meat harvest from an animal stores 20 life and 20% energy. I am at it. Yeah, I'm going to eat both of those. Nom nom. Nom nom. It's rancid. It's so bad for me, but it's so good for me. Oh, look, we got something down here. Oh, we got multiple somethings down here. Alright, that bear's on the other side of that lava, so we can suck it. Alright, more stuff just on the ground. What is a scorched bud? A weed that has been burnt to a crisp. Eating it will store energy by a tiny amount. Huh, there we go. Five energy. Alright, what is this? This is full of feral dogs. Well. Fuck feral dogs. Get out of here. I'm gonna destroy them all. And get all this experience. It's so good. So good experience. Oh, yeah. Now I'm level 5. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to open that thing. It doesn't seem that way. Alright, well, I bail on it. Bust me out of that. Oh, what do you want? Oh, you threw a stone at me, you little prick. Stop throwing shit at me. Get murdered. I have a stone now, too. Y'all can suck it. What's up here? Oh, some more feral dogs? You know what? Let's do it. Oh, level six. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 
Okay. This is not going the best. I'm not going to check out what's in there, but I am just going to level up a bunch by killing these dudes. Just getting a bunch of, of stamina, and that is not exactly what I need in these level ups. Alright, well I'm going to have to abandon the rest of that. Suddenly, a sinister force settles upon the area. You can sense the presence of many demons. This could mean trouble. Proceed carefully. Shit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get you, you zombie skeleton. Yeah, skeleton dude. Alright, proceed carefully. I've entered some rooms. And there's stuff to the north worth checking out. Okay, so it's blue if it's a town, it's red if it's a dungeon. I am gonna slowly make my way over to this town. I need to harvest that. License on life. Nice. Whoa. Why are you stopped? Because you want to be cut? That why? Oh. oh I didn't. Max life increased. Sweet. I'm going to eat one of these herbs. Just keep my health up. I don't want to get jumped by something and get got. Alright. We're just going to make our way slowly, casually. Whoa. Save attendant takes 29 damage. Why? Why is the town under attack? I want to save the town. No. I'm fucking bashing my way in here. Alright, this big stone, a stone which can be thrown. Not the way I wanted to throw it. Not the way I wanted to throw it. Fuck. I thought that it was going to be like an equipped thing that I could then turn. Oh, I killed, I, I threw a stone at the guard like a jerk. I didn't mean to do that. Shut up, you're going to tell me about that thing I already know about that wouldn't have been useful. Alright, the bow is a compact bow. I got 25 hero points. My overall heroics level is 25.8. First time hunt title. You can now choose hunter class. This class excels at ranged attacks. I want to unlock more. I can't. Force user. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Advice corner. What? Can I get that Master of Unlocking perks? I like that. Nope. Alright. Back here we go. And, uh. I think we will just continue being a sword master for now, though we did unlock the hunter. There's also the knight, but I'm not too big on the knight. Alright, well, we're gonna... Current campaign dimensions. Choosing one will start up the game immediately. For players who want to join the adventure with other heroes, instead of disappearing at the castle the king awaits to you East, raise your charisma and recruit him to your adventure as a special present. The enemies are just stronger than normal. Let's through the dark dimension. This dimension is already shrouded in darkness. Alright, well, we're just gonna create another random world. We're not gonna go dig around in that old world again. We're gonna create this new world. Private notes of Swordmaster Folly. I really love this sword, and I bet this sword loves me too, so I am careful in how I use it. It's a bit tough lugging it around since it's weight of eight, but every rose has its thorn. If you use the scroll of jerry-rigging, then it is possible to repair your weapon and armor to full durability. However, the drawback is that they become brittle and break faster. To repair your equipment without this risk, you need the scroll of repair. However, this is a very expensive scroll and only repairs 50 durability points. It is very difficult to continue using the same equipment for extended periods of time. I didn't really tell me much about the world. Alright, I was defeated by a guard because I threw a rock at him by accident because I misunderstood what the fuck was going on. Fantastic. Alright, well, let's, uh, harvest this. Show me on the map. You know, what's the star over your head for? I'm Judge Charisma. Looks like your charisma is stuck at level zero. I don't think anyone is going to join you with that at this point. You might get some no-names, I guess. 
Alright. God, the darkness, it gets us. Whoa. Alright. We're busting out here. <laughs> a sword and a treasure map. Three treasure maps. What the heck is going on in this world? Okay. A treasure map. A mysterious map that reveals the location of all treasure chests in the area. Using this will show you the direction of chests outside the current screen as well as hidden chests. Use! I got three of them. And the sword of quality unknown equip. Alright, I'm going in here. There's dudes. I'm gonna get them. This sword seems pretty cool. What's in this? Some dried herb. Get got. Get got. Strength increased. Oh jeez. Get got. Get got. Alright. Oh man, this place is full of monsters. Oh man, this is the most full of monsters it could have been. Uh, there's a chip jewel. That's pretty cool. Deteriorated version of pretty jewel. This is what happens when it gets too close to an open flame. Of course, the added value drops as a result. I need to get. Oh man, what do you want? What do you want? I'm not gonna be able to check out that chest. Oh, get some vitality and some strength. Oh, get out of here with that. Oh man. Oh, I can't open any of them. I have to use my awakening. I have to get out of here. Oh, I don't have to do it like that though. What is this? A scroll of jerry rigging. Oh man, there's all sorts of stuff. Oh man, all my health is gone. Okay, we can live. We can live like this. Eat this healing herb. Uh, I'm gonna have to abandon that dungeon. Alright, well there's some stuff. Just a little bit down here it seems. Is there... Do, Okay, I can't bash twice. Cause stamina. But I want in this. What's in it? A scroll of confusion and some money. A scroll that confuses all of the characters next to the player. It can be very useful when surrounded by enemies, but unlucky if you <laughs> But if you are unlucky you will still be beaten to a pool. Alright, I don't understand how to bait enemies in this game to get first hit. Ah! And sometimes I just get jacked a little because I'm not doing the right thing. That thing is ripe again. I don't know when it became ripe, but... I want in this chest. I want in it. I want in it bad. Ooh! Silver axe. Alright, uh, do I know anything about this sword I got yet? No. Let's put this axe and just see if I start wrecking shit. What you want? Whoa! I do just start wrecking shit. Accuracy's way down. When I do hit, it just fucking tears me. Uh... Alright, time stop. I'm gonna use this time to uh get that healing herb. I don't know, get out. What do you want? Berserk! Get out of here with this. I'm done with your shit. I'm berserk. And now you are fatigued from going berserk. And shit's gonna go bad. Oh, don't kill me. No, you killed me. Berserk is such a downfall. Harpies. Harpies all over. Alright, the next screen you can expand your dimensional vault for the ability to carry items that it earlier doesn't... Alright, well, it might be worth actually expanding that vault now that I got some pretty cool stuff. So... I think I will expand that vault. So... Now that I've done that, 
I think I'll expand it. Nah, I don't need to expand it twice. Lock a new perk. I really want the Master of Unlocking. Class. I could just get Force User. But would I use it? No. I want Master of Unlocking more than anything. Uh, Replay data. I can, oh, I can save extra replay data there. That's cool. Return to the title. So now that I've done that... Did I goof and screw up where I uh, am able to uh, keep my weapons? Or because I didn't have uh, a thing, did that take my weapons away? Because I didn't have space for them initially? Let's just go back to this world. And... Alright, some more stuff. They hide the tutorials in that, and it's pretty cool, I guess. But we don't need it. Alright, welcome to Dimensional Vault. Oh, open the vault. Let's see. Interesting. What is the Dimensional Vault? The Dimensional Vault allows allow you to share items across your arms, time, space. You can store newly acquired items in the Dimensional Vault at the end of a game playthrough. In fact, if you don't update your vault at the end of the game, the items removed during the last session will still be in the vault where you play. However, be careful if I'm clearing the game. Dimensional Vault will be automatically updated. If you don't want to lose items, make sure to put them back in the vault. You got it. Alright, here is a stone hut and a holy shrine. Alright. Let's go out in the world and do this one more time. Alright, there's a dungeon here. We're gonna check it out. Maybe get murdered. Christ! Why do you do so much damage, man? Oh man, there's dudes just pouring out of there. Oh man, they do all this damage and it sucks. Why are they so strong? I'll have to defeat them. I didn't see what that level. Max life. An area map. Silver. Nope, I'm not going to get caught in there and get sucked away by the darkness. That's not how I go out. But, maybe I'll check in here and see what's going on. Oh, man. Ah, I would love to check out those chests. Christ. Why are you so... up in these... There's dungeons to the south. I just want to live. Oh god, why are you so strong? Villainous Harpy. My weight limit increases twice. It doesn't matter at all. I'm gonna die out here. I have nothing. Why? Leave me be. No, Villainous Harpy, why are you so powerful? You're not a normal Harpy. Don't bullshit me. That Harpy was villainous. Oh man, does that mean I should like use Awaken to run away? Alright. Well, I think that's where we're gonna end it here. I like this game. We're gonna continue playing it and check out just uh, how deep down this rabbit hole we can go. That was Roman with Nat 20 and One Way Heroics. See ya.